Hi everybody, all right, today we are learning how to convert units. Um, this is a, a special lesson. It's one that's kind of tricky, one that's kind of difficult, and one that can also be accomplished, or your answers at least can be checked uh, easily with a computer. So that's the great news. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to multiply a number. Let's say, let's say we're doing B right here, 14, 1520 uh, milliliters and we want to know what that is in liters okay we're just going to take the number and we're going to multiply it by one but we're gonna multiply it by one in a special form right so we're gonna put this over one and then we're gonna multiply it times one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put milliliters on the bottom and we're gonna put liters on the top because we want to end up with liters. Okay, now of course we have to multiply by one and liters over milliliters does not equal one, but one liter does equal 1,000 milliliters. Okay, so now we can just multiply. We're just gonna multiply across and we're going to have our milliliters cancel out like that. And then we have 14,520 times one. 14, 5, 20 times 1, and then we have 1 times 1,000. So we really have 1,000, blah, 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 14,000 uh, divided by 1,000, which is going to equal 14.52 liters. There you go. So we multiplied times 1. Let's do another one for an example. Okay, let's try number, uh, number. let's try letter D. So we have uh, 630 yards, 6, 30, 6, sorry, 6 .30, 6 .30 yards to feet. Okay, now one feet, let me look at my formula sheet right in here so I don't have it on the screen. We have uh, one yard equals three feet. Okay, I probably shouldn't have known by hand, but that's okay. So again, we're going to take 6.30 over one yards. And we're going to multiply that times our conversion factor. Now we want to end up with feet. So we're going to put feet on the top and we're going to put yard on the bottom, right? And then we just got to figure out what our conversion factor is. So we see here that, okay, three feet equals one yard. Okay, now I multiply across. I'm going to get 18.9 feet over and our yards cancel out. There's my answer. It's not so bad, right? Not too super hard. Let's pick out a different one. Let's pick out one that's a little bit trickier. G might be a good candidate. Let's see if we got anything else interesting over here. Um, all right, yeah, let's do G, why not? Three feet, five inches two decimal feet, okay. So decimal feet basically means we wanna turn that into a number with a decimal. Kinda of obvious, all right? So three feet, we're not even gonna to touch that, right? But we are going to do this. We're gonna have our five. Oh, let me go into editing mode here, zoom in just a little bit. All right, there we go. Five inches, five in over one times, and we wanna convert to feet, so we're gonna do feet over inches, right? So our inches will cancel out when we multiply across and our feet will be left. Okay, so we know that 12 inches equals one foot. We multiply up top, five times one equals five and then one times 12 equals 12. All right, those cancel out, those cancel out and we're gonna be left with feet but now it wants, of course, decimal feet. So I gotta go to my calculator and I have to do five divided by 12 and that is four point, sorry, point zero point 0.42. So my final answer is 3.42 because I'm report to the nearest hundredth of a foot, All right? So 3.42 feet, okay? It's a good one, let's see. Let's do one word problem, and then we'll call it a day, and hopefully we can kind of figure out what to do on our own. 
Let's try. Mm hmm. It's 3.67. That's a pretty good one. Or we could do the Caribbean Village. Let's see what's on this page. Mm, I don't think I'm feeling that one so much. Let's do. Let's do 5A. So let's zoom in nice and good on that one. 3.67 miles. Okay, so this is one's kind of hard because we have to convert. Well, let's just let's just do it. D equals RT, right? We have distance, we have a rate, we're trying to find a time. So we're gonna say uh, we're going to edit and we're gonna say D equals RT, our times T, right? Distance equals rate or speed times time. So our distance is 3.67 equals and our rate is three is four times our time, which is T. Now this is 3.67 miles in four miles per hour. So we're going to just divide. We should get a number less than one. So we're gonna do 3.67 divided by four. And we're gonna get 0.9175. All right, so I'm gonna do decimal hours and convert the time to minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna write this as 0.92 hours equals T. So we're gonna do 0.92 hours. Okay, now I'm gonna just go ahead, oh, point hours. I'm gonna go ahead and erase all of this stuff right here so that we can now convert 0.92 hours into minutes, right? So I have 0.92 hours over one. I'm gonna multiply that times uh, minutes over hours, okay? And I know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. When I multiply, my hours cancel out and I got 0.92 times 60. So let's see, times 60. Now I'm actually gonna use 0.9175 and that is 55.05 minutes. I'm just going to round it to 55 minutes. There you go. So we're solving problems with units.